you will take questions from the rising and young fellows. Can I request Christian, Serena, and Paul to come to the mic? If Monsieur Hollande wants to administer punishment beatings uh, to anybody who chooses to escape, rather in the manner of some sort of World War II movie, uh, then, then I, you know, I, I don't think that that is the way forward. And I, and I think actually it's not in the interests of uh, our friends and our partners. And also to a number of family weddings where, you know, I've learned over the years. So our Prime Minister, Theresa May, said yesterday, we believe that we can strike a new and healthy relationship with the European Union, supportive of the European Union. As I've said many times before, we want to be outside the main body of the cathedral, but supportive like a, a flying buttress. When it comes to the tensions in the South China Sea, we are in favor of the rules-based order. Now, Britain takes no position on the merits of the competing claims, but we do take a view on how they are pursued. We oppose the militarization of the South China Sea, and we urge all parties to respect freedom of navigation and settle their disputes peacefully in accordance with international law. This is not the time to put up barriers between our countries. This is the time to tear those barriers down. And I say to you, we may be leaving the EU, we may be taking back control of our borders, but my Indian friends, I say to you, that does not mean we want to haul up the drawbridge. We do not want to deter Indian talent from our country. I think the time is fast upon us when we need to turbocharge this relationship with a new free, free trade deal, such as we will shortly be able to do. We can't negotiate it now, but we can sketch it out in pencil on the back of an envelope. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now moving very quickly to our next uh, panel, which is on the world politics of the Asia Pacific. We have uh, four very distinguished speakers. Well, well, I'm afraid we have. <laughs> yes, I'm very bored in India. You've got to know your onions, because onions are a big business. Mm -hmm. yeah, when, the, when the price of onions goes wrong in India, I think we're going to have to go around with a spoon. And we're going to have to go around with a spoon. And we're going to have to go around with a spoon.